All right, we're gonna do deep chest, but we're gonna do it in three parts. This will be the first part. Now, in this section, for the first time, we're gonna bisect muscles. Bisect means to cut a muscle at 90 degrees to its fiber directly in the middle. So just as an example, here's pectoantebrachialis, and the fibers are running this way. So if I say bisect it, I'm gonna go right in the middle between the origin and the insertion, dead center, and cut at 90 degrees. And we'll stay to that rule as closely as possible. All right, now, to do deep chest, please be advised, all of the muscles have to be done on one side. So on Derek's cat here, we're gonna dissect the deep chest only on the right, never on the left, just right here. Got it? Got it, good. First muscle I'm gonna bisect is this shoulder muscle because that's gonna expose major. Okay, so it's, I know this is a shoulder muscle, but it's part of this dissection. So here's the insertion, the origin is the clavicle. I'm gonna go about halfway Round side down, I'm gonna put my finger under there, give it some lift so I don't cut anything underneath. I'm gonna go halfway, 90 degrees. Don't cut like that. Don't cut like this. Don't cut at one end, that's really weird. Halfway, 90 degrees. This is real simple, watch, bang, bang. I'm gonna cut that muscle on purpose and you better make sure you're cutting the right muscles. Now the next thing, when I pulled this back, that's called reflection. That doesn't mean you stop and think about what you've done. It means to pull the muscle back so you can see everything else. So I'm gonna reflect this end. If there's any remaining connective tissue and you can see that on the video, I'm just gonna bust that up a little bit and then that's gonna free that up so it's nice and loose, okay? The second muscle in this video, we're gonna bisect pectoantebrachialis. That's this strap. So I'm gonna use my forceps to support it up off the other muscles, go halfway and just, I know this makes you nervous, just cut it bang and then reflect any dissection that you didn't do will be done at this time I'm going to take this right to the sternum please do not remove that if you need any pins you can get those from the closet now this next one is pectoralis major if you disconnected the clavicle and it's right the clavicle bones right there now it's underneath there if you did this correctly and you got the big pothole from the last video just take your scissors here's the bottom edge of major it should be all dissected. Watch this, watch. Hello, whammo, and I'm through. Okay, so I only have that narrow band right there that's open, and it's open wider. So here's what I want you to do. Shoot 90 degrees halfway between there and there, there and there. Angle your scissors just right, kind of get a visual. Keep some up pressure, pull this out, round side down, and I'm gonna cut right through major. It's a lot thicker than the other muscles. Make sure you get the whole thing, okay? And then you are gonna have to do some dissection here. Look, if I peel back on this, see that connective tissue? We're gonna loosen that up, scrape that, and then that'll let Major lay flat. And then I'm gonna take this muscle, this is the other end. Now be careful, there's gonna be some nerves attached to it. I'm just gonna detach those nerves from the bottom of this muscle. Scrape, scrape, finishing this dissection because we couldn't do it earlier. And then you can see pectoralis minor's hanging on a little bit. Yeah, we're gonna separate her. She doesn't wanna be there. And then we're gonna pull this back. So all we have left to do in the next video, we'll do Ziffy and minor in the same manner. But just do that for now. That's part one of deep chest, go.